Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trader here. Today is Friday, March 29th, um, um, the last day of March. So I uh, ended the day, uh, ended the month uh, with a green day. So up a total of $250 trading CPRX, TGTX, and BKTX. Um, so the first trade I did was based off my watch list, CPRX. So I was watching this uh, for the sec second red day um, below $5 and hoping it for a fade down towards 450. So there's a support area here. So I was hoping for it to fall back down. Uh, but um, okay, let's get to it. So uh, initially I saw it fell below five here um, during this step here or during this uh, crack. Uh, I started short here um, and then I held it um, and I saw it kind of forming this uh, bear flag. Uh, went ahead and short for this crack. Uh, it went to retest, kind of fell, uh, added some more. Uh, and then initially I had an order out for 488 here to cover half my shares. Um, so I, I was actually unrealized uh, in this area for $150. So it was a really big uh, big win for me, but I end up uh, making the mistake not to take off any shares. So I, uh, but I had a great average of like 498 or so. So I end up holding through this, um, these move here. Um, and then end up taking it off when it fell to uh, break this prior high. So I took took off here, and then when I saw saw this uh, this level here, I think the four ninety five area um, became. So you see, it became um, support here, and then it became resistant. And when it popped back up, I went ahead and stopped out there for the rest. So that was a $50 winner um, in the morning. And then the next trade I did was TGTX. So TGTX, this was trending uh, it was, uh, on the high of day. This, um, this had a good breakout here towards this area, but I didn't see, um, I wasn't watching it then, but uh, you can see that it held. Um, if I were to trade this, this, this would have been a perfect trade for um, this, um, this strategy. So you can see it became support in here and then you just draw the flag and then you buy on this break. Um, but I missed that. Um, but I tried to capture the uh, backside of the move. So I saw I saw this uh, trailing up, trailing up and then it, it kind of uh, was picking up volume, volume and then kind of parabolic with a top wick um, to close uh, on the highest volume bar. So I saw weakness in that. Um, so when it pulled back, uh, held this uh, support, I was watching for an inverted cup and handle. So you can see a little cup and then that little wick for the handle. And I started in short right there um, on that for 855. And I just covered my first target was, or then my target was uh, this 830 area which was the prior uh, resistance here, now becoming support. So I ended up just covering on the way down there and my last cover was like 834 or so. So I always like to cover this before before the support. Uh, I ended up trailing um, all the way down towards the $8. Um, uh, I, did, I had an order out here initially to reshort um, at the eight. 55 area, uh, but it didn't, it didn't get there. Um, but nonetheless, I was uh, I was done for the trade. Um, so my last trade was VKTX, uh, my biggest win for the day. Um, so this one, I saw it chilling up as well. Um, and then I marked down these key levels um, as a pocket. So I like to watch stocks that are chilling up and then you see you see these pockets here so this pocket and this pocket i like to see them get filled on the way down so usually this stock will pull back down um when the opportunity comes so 
when I was watching this, I saw uh, 1002 was uh, a resistant, I mean support. So 1002 there, on here and here. Okay, so 1002. Um, so initially I saw this downtrend right here. Um, as you can see, he got higher, uh, lower high, lower high, lower high, and then I um, saw it getting tighter. So I end, started early short there, um, waiting for it to crack, but it ended up uh, um, not cracking and breaking above this trend line. I, I added a little bit more, and then I ended up stopping out because it went above this high. So I ended up stopping out there, um, and then it kind of washed down. Uh, which I felt really uh, weak with a uh, high volume. So I, I started short again in here, um, added some more there. And then when it, uh, I saw it in level two when it got really weak, I added there. Um, I, I, tried, I added a uh, thousand shares, but I only picked up a hundred at here. Um, and then it kind of break the 1002 uh, all the way back to like 980s, uh, which I covered at around I think 990s and then 985s here and then I just uh, took it off um, so it's, since that was my final uh, or my first target but um, I would yeah I need to learn how to practice you know uh, taking profits also on the like, second move down um, but when I see profit on the first move I like to take them off but eventually I go uh, practice uh, to hold my um, a quarter position or eight position longer. Uh, um, yeah, so that's the end of my recap. And those three trades, um, hope everyone had a great Friday trading and stay away from um, chasing and just wait for the backside of the move um, or any uh, opportunity that um, you see fit meets your uh, risk. Um, okay, so um, I'll see you guys on Monday uh, on April, first day. And as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye bye.